Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello again everyone and welcome back to episode 37 of One Hour Limit Locked here. We have plenty to be getting on with today. Now, actually, there's going to be a little bit of a change of pace. I have a bit of a to-do list today. Yeah, so something I mentioned very briefly at the end of yesterday's session and after looking into it further it is definitely worth doing before we start the Defender Grind. It makes absolutely zero sense to start my Defender Grind before doing this. And that is the combat tasks. The reason being, if we complete the easy tier of the combat tasks, which is 11 more points to go, we get 100% bonus tokens at the Warriors Guild, which means that the time we spend hitting plates of armor just to get tokens so that we can actually kill the cyclopses that time will be cut in half which could be quite substantial i mean even as a default it's worth it because we're going to spend at least an hour doing that over the course of this grind so it's worth it even if we have a a breeze through it but if we don't breeze through it, then it becomes more and more worth it. So we'll be definitely thankful that we've got it done. Especially when you consider just how quickly you can get 11 combat achievement points. So I'm going to see just how quickly I can do it today. Because I don't think it's going to take us a very long at all. First of course, got to do the bird house runs. Not the bird house runs, the uh, farm runs. Done the bird house runs. We are about to be out of run our seeds. Well, that's okay. We can grab some more. What's the price of the minute? 23k, very reasonable. They're getting back down to actual good profits. I'm probably happy to dump most of my cash stack into Renars when we visit the GE. So yeah, I don't know if we're actually going to kill any Cyclopses today or get any Defenders. That rather depends just how quick this is, because honestly, I don't think it's going to take us long. At the very least, we'll get them all done this session, but don't think it'll take us the full session to, to do these tasks. I have nothing kill count related, like kill something 10 cat times or whatever. I don't have any anything like that on my list, so, you know, we've already done 16 tasks worth a very varied amount of points. So, we did a lot of the work already just through previous seasons. 11 more points is nothing really. Oh, I feel like those extra farming levels are paying off. We're getting a decent haul today. Maybe I should go and just check on that teak tree that we have down here. Be quicker to get to it from Fairy Ring. But... Oh no, a dead patch. Screw the farming levels, they're not paying off. Alright, farm run done. Gonna get the staffs real quick. Bing bang bomb. Put the renars and the staffs up. And any nests. Lovely. So oh, that was just one of them. Derp. Okay, I'm gonna get another thousand at all darts. Not for today particularly, but just in general. And nature runes. And then Renar seeds. Yeah, fuck it, let's get 30. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna go to Drena And get myself a scarf. Pop that on. That's one, two, three warm clothing. We need four warm clothing to go to Winter Todd. So we're going to trade Spreer, grab ourselves an unlit bug lantern, which we can light, and that's another one. 
then uh, we are going to go straight on over to Winotaurs. Should have made sure I was on the right world. So we're only trying to get one KC here for a couple of different tasks. But we will dump that stuff that we don't need. I think this is all I need for Winter Todd. Oh, I might need a hammer as well to fix the brazier, actually. And then some food. Hopefully there's enough people on the world, because it's a weird time of day. Oh, yeah, it's busy. And we might be able to just gain on this round. Okay, so get a completion with four warm clothing items is one thing. Repair a brazier is one thing. Heal a pyromancer is one thing. So we'll probably want to make sure we have a herb thing on us. I might need a pestle more as well. No, maybe you don't need one. So we will need to get 500 points in order for it to count as a completion, which might be a struggle because we came in late and it's going pretty quick. We'll see. We might be better off at doing a couple of the tasks in... Well, I want to get that notification off, that's horrible. We might be better getting a couple of the tasks done in a solo, but getting this completion, it is going to be easier in a, a group. If we can get the 500 point size. Don't think we're going to get it on this run. Ooh, there's a Pyromancer I could heal at the back. I'm going to run around here and make sure I get healing. It's unfortunate that there's no repair to be had, but... Okay, and we're over 500 points, so we did actually do enough. Uh, the only other one that we need is to repair a broken brazier, which we can just do very easily in a solo, I guess, if nothing else. I'll probably just try and do it here. Does it make more sense? I'm just trying to think about how quickly... Wait, did I get it anyway? Can we fix it? Is that it? That was four points, and that's what I wanted, so... Or oh, three, three points. Oh, we actually got more than we bargained for that. I don't know what the can we fix it one was, but we got it. Oh, without allowing all four to be broken at the same time. Okay, so we just got that one, a different one than we we're planning to get, but that's fine. We are done a winner, Todd, for now. We will be back here at some point in the future to get some fire making experience. Can you stop? Oh my gosh, this literally spawns like two minutes away. Why is it so expensive? Can I get a monk's robe for 3k? Are you serious? Damn, they got expensive. Maybe picking these up is a money maker. You could probably get a full invent of monk's robes pretty quickly. All you need is like 33 prayer or something to get in here. Loki a money maker. I don't know if this is members or if it could be free to play as well. Only members. Well, I am a member. Thanks. See, look at this. It's looking cash right there on the table. Right, we're only going for one KC. We want some death runes, some fire runes, I think. Not the rune pouch though. Open blast, death fire. In fact, let's just put half our fires back as well. We don't even have that many casts with deaths. Prayer pot to be safe. We'll grab a stamina. We'll grab a burning amulet. Oh sure, I'll take a cream hat that I randomly have in my bank. Why the hell not? Let's get the boots of lightness as well. Bing bang bomb. Shouldn't need food, but it's just in case, really. Right, we're off to the bandit camp. We want to kill the crazy archaeologist using only magic and dodge his special attack. That's another four points. And then we're going to do the exact same thing for the deranged archaeologist and oh, we're done. So two boss kills is all we need but very easy bosses. I think it's pretty ranged against these guys, honestly, I can't remember. I don't have my auto cast either, but now we do. So that's what we gotta dodge. Oh, fuck. Well, first kill was a fail, but that's okay, we can get the second kill. I don't wanna be in melee range. He's in a really awkward position. Okay, first kill down. We got literally nothing. Wow, what a great drop table this guy has. Okay, let's try not to get hit this time. It's probably because my auto's on it was pulling me into weird spots. Never actually realised. Come on, give me some hits. There we go. Alright, we got 2k that time. What an amazing drop table. 
Right, exact same thing, but we're no longer in the wieldy, so much less panic while we're doing it. Can go ahead and put my blood back on as well. Alright, dig sa- oh, we need a rake and an axe, don't we? Fuck. Axe. Okay, we'll go Ardy. Oh, we've got the Ardy cloak on, so we're gonna go Ardy cloak, grab a rake. Fossil Island. I don't know if we've got the mushroom. I doubt we do. Almost done, folks. We are just three points away. I'm gonna get four here. Oh, I've got anti-poison. I could get poisoned by one of these things. Hopefully it doesn't happen. Uh, we should get the tree while we're here, just in case we ever want it in future. Please no poison. Thank you. Alright, exact same goal. Try not to get hit. I feel like it's easier here, but maybe I'm misremembering. Maybe it's just because you're not panicking about being in the wild, but I feel like you have longer to react. Or you don't have to run as far, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. This is just easier because it's not the wild. And there we failed. Of course, it makes us do too, Casey. Well, at least he gave us some food. Nicer than his cousin. No! Oh my gosh, my prayer ran out and I was being cheeky. I was like, I don't need to worry about this. I was so calm. I was like, this guy can't hit. I don't need prayer. What the fuck? I can't believe I just scuffed that so badly. Holy shit. Okay, well, you know what? We got an extra point from Winter Todd, so there's a much easier task. Not that that's a difficult one, it should be very doable, but it is gonna be quicker for me to just go do the other thing I'm thinking of. So we are gonna. Can't believe I scuffed that so badly. I could have ate, I could have prayed, like, that was, that was a fucking skill specs moment right there. Oh my days. Right, let's dump everything. We don't want any of this shit. Let's just grab our melee gear. That'll do nicely. Uh, oh, yes, yeah, there. <laughs> I got lost for a minute. I was like, where are the fire giants again? For those who don't know, here's where the fire giants are. Or at least this is the giant's den. I always kill these ones because they're worth more XP or some shit. Okay, there we go. We have now done the easy combat here. Which means it's time for us to go and claim our reward. We're off to the Warriors Guild. We're gonna talk to Gommel. Bing bang boom. He gives us the hill, 100% extra tokens inside the guild, and a lovely 5k lamp to slap on a jelly. Would you look at that? Let's go get our first tokens. So usually these are worth 20 each, but I think now they're worth 40 each. I'm just going to make sure my sound effects are down so I can flick, because I'm going to be flicking for the entire Cyclops' because I don't want to use prayer pots. So yeah, we're, we're off the Alks now while we're here and back on flicking. Look at that, 40 right in and we can go straight again. Does this also give us teleports? It does give us a troll time teleport if we ever need it. I think I'm going to actually just send 20 minutes in the room, because I'm going to get 200 tokens very quickly. So that's 20 minutes inside the room. For those who don't know, who've never done this, if you're usually a main account and you've just never got a defender because you hate grinds, I understand, I've been there. You need 10 tokens per minute that you spend killing Cyclops, which are the things that drop defenders. And it's like a 1 in 50 drop rate for each type of defender. You have to work your way up from bronze. But that is a very quick 200 earned, and if we stay in there for 20 minutes, then we will have... Oh, someone's already born. I guess I'll get the bass. We'll have 20 minutes of time to kill Cyclopses. So why don't we just get our ass in there for 20 minutes? I'm going to take a prayer pot just in case. And yeah, just a bit of food just in case. It should be relatively chill. Okay, I think we have to talk. To a first. Welcome to our new home. Am I gonna absolutely pop off and get one on kill number one? No. 
You know, what I'm going to do actually is go to my ground items and highlight all defenders. Or maybe that should be lowercase actually. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I think it costs 20 to get in each time as well. I think it's like 20 to open the door and then 10 for every minute. Of course, our XP rates here are far worse than at the Nagua. You can see we're working at 36k at the minute. We've got less of a boost here because I'm not paying for super combats when the 30k are pop. Flicking as well. So we're not getting the magic XP. And we don't have the extra plus 8 potential damage with every attack. So yeah. The XP is a lot worse. But it's still XP. Oh, I totally forgot the DDS. I'm dumb. It took me 10 minutes to realise. I was like, sure I... I had like more burst damage against the others, <laughs> even with the differences. Totally forgot the DDS should be bringing that for extra DPS when the special's available. No, somebody else is next to me. They're gonna take all my Cyclops. Shout out this person. Stock shit cock. Maybe I should read people's names before shouting them out. Maybe we'd be better doing this with a D sim and an obby shield. You know what, I may well, when we finish at the end of this session, just go and do a DPS check on that at the end of this video, see which one would be better. Because we can afford to buy one if, if it's better. Hey, we finally got the bronze defender, let's go. Oh, we had two minutes left on the time. That was so close. Oh, I need to use it on a... All right, well, it's pointless going back in because that will use all our tokens, but we have our very first defender. What did we get it at? 46 KC, so not far behind drop rate. It's 50. Every 50 we expect one, so we'll take that. We'll slap this stuff away for now, out this little stuff. And then I kind of want to look at those clue steps because we've got a couple of minutes here with birdhouses. Not going to take us that long. How many steps have we done there? Zero and zero, I think. Okay, let's go do the birdhouses and then we'll maybe go do this step after. Oh, balls, I didn't bring the clockwork. We can do it without, so it's fine. It just means I can't be 100% efficient because I can't make them on the way. Okay, nice, quick, easy birdhouses. Still got two minutes, should be plenty of time if I remember a spade. It's a good job I did remember right as I was running past somebody that could sell me one. Oh, does he not have spades? Are you serious? I need a spade, bro. I've got one here. Didn't they get that one in storage? There was a good 30, 40 seconds wasted. Okay, I'm actually just going to go to AJP as well and check that teak tree. We may as well get the extra farming XP because I think it did help our yield a little. But we got your nil anvils and lumbridge cow pen. Okay, I don't think we're going to get to either of those because we don't have teleports on us. So, pop over here, shall we? Get a very quick reset in, and I may as well just set up my invent for Bird Ash Run. Lovely stuff. So, where did we get to today, folks? Well, we got the combat tasks done. We're way away from medium, so we're not going to be going for that, because 96 points would take a considerable effort. Even though there is, you know, an extra 100% available from the tokens. We got our tokens pretty quick anyway. It took us about two minutes to get 200 tokens, which lasts 20 minutes inside. So I'm pretty happy that we did the easy because it only took us about 25 minutes to get all those tasks done. And yeah, we get tokens super quick now. So grinding them is not too bad at all. We got these other benefits as well. Not that any of them are too relevant in particular. But yeah, daily troll arm teleports three if we ever need to get to god walls. I don't know for a clue or something. And then easy clue scroll, slightly easier to get. Nothing too major there. 
We didn't get too much XP today, only 66k with 6k from random alks. We got our standard hunter plus extra farming from that teak tree we just checked. 10k fire making XP from doing the winter tod, which isn't bad at all to be honest. Like I say, we will be going back there because we need to get up to 55 fire making for beneath cursed sands, but it's not an immediate priority, it's literally just we have to do this to get into raids. Not that we care about it, but the levels will be very quick there. Winter Todd, very fast fire making XP, so nothing to worry about. We got 18k in attack XP from the Cyclops that we did kill, along with 7.7k in hit points. And then a nice little 5k in agility as well to top things off from the lamp there. So we're approaching 58, we're approaching 56 herb lore as well, halfway through 51 farming. The magic is almost at next level, but we're not particularly going to be gaining a lot of magic XP in the near future with the defender grinds that we are doing. And yeah, we got our first 46 Cyclops killed for a, a bronze defender, which means we'll be looking at the iron defender. We got bronze, iron, steel, black, myth, add a rune, and then finally dragon. So eight types, we've already got one of them. Seven left to go. Dragon's kind of separate category anyway, because it's a different thing that you kill, but it's still as bad, if not worse. And yeah, we've already started that. I did say I wanted to check the DPS, so I'm going to do that. Cut to some editing magic of when I've already done it. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so it is marginally better to use the dragon sim. We'd get one more max hit and a 0.2 extra DPS. But our accuracy is actually slightly better with the sulfur. Oh, I forgot the... Need not helm on both the selves. Don't think it'll make a difference, but we'll check. Okay, yeah, it's still the same either way. Uh, check the buff, the prayers, and everything is set the same. Yeah, so the dragon sim with Tox Ketzil is marginally better than the sulfur blades against the cyclops. Uh, I've got the level 71s selected here, let's see if it's the same against the 56s. About the same, yeah, it's like a 0.2% increase. Uh, DPS is a lot better against the 56s than the 73, 76s. Because there's two different levels, for those who don't know. If we look, it goes from 5.018, 4.911. So there's half as much of a difference in DPS between killing the smaller Cyclops as there is from making this switch. Which makes me think we should be doing our best to focus the smaller ones to be the most efficient because the drop rate is exactly the same on both of them. We should be trying our best to fight the 56s rather than the 76s. So I might have to get specific ones tagged and then find a spot where I'm not likely to get aggro from a 76 because we should be doing everything we can to increase our efficiency in the, the time we spend here. So yeah, I think I will be investing in this even though it's only such a marginal increase. My average time to kill goes down by 0.7 seconds. That's worth it because we could be killing an awful lot of these cunts. So I'm kind of glad I checked this, for those who don't know, it's the OSRS wiki has a DPS calculator, they made it recently, uh, it's very easy, you can put your own name in and look up your stats, put your potion boosts on, set up your prayer how you'd have it, and set up your styles how you'd have it, and then compare multiple things see which self wins so that is going to be on the menu for tomorrow yeah hopefully we get some more defenders in we've got some tokens to earn of course but that shouldn't take us too long probably like five minutes to get enough for a full session and then we'll be grinded away trying to get that iron maybe steel maybe black defender coming in I just realised that my face has been covering fucking side panel the entire time that's been showing everything that I just talked about, but hopefully you could see enough of it behind me that it made sense. Alright, terrible DPS 
calculator plug thanks to my placement over make sure you hit that like button hit the subscribe button if you haven't already to join the growing family leave me a comment down below let me know what defender i'm gonna get in the next episode and don't cheat and come back and leave that comment when you've already watched it do it legitimately yeah yeah look after yourselves be lovely to one another i'll see you in the next one